Hey everybody and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. My name is Sathan Dubey and I like making videos about programming, productivity, math, books, and a bunch of other things, whatever really comes to my mind. Today's video is going to be me talking about my stats and extracurriculars that got me into Georgia Tech. Um, after I made my college decision reaction video, a lot of people in the comments wanted me to make one of these types of videos, so I decided I might as well. An important note, I don't know the exact combination of things that got me into Georgia Tech or UT Austin or UMich or any of those schools. If anybody tells you they know the exact combination of things that got them into a certain school, they're probably lying because you don't really know what a college is gonna be looking for exactly, but you can try your best to do your own best work and then see if that'll get you in. Also, don't compare yourself to people that make these videos. There's a lot of people that are kind of crazily accomplished for a high school student and you don't need to be some god to get into a good school. All right, so this video is gonna be in a few parts. One, I'm just gonna talk about my stats, which will be this next part, which is just my SAT score and my GPA. Then I'll talk about my extracurriculars and awards, which I think is the larger part of my application. And towards the end, I'll mention some of my topics for the essays that I wrote. So all those time stamps will be in the description, so just skip around if you want, and let's get straight into it. Okay, so the only schools I got into were the schools that I applied to early action, and I didn't actually submit any of my AP scores except my AP Calculus BC score to these schools. So I'm not really going to talk about my AP scores. Let's get into what my SAT score was. Uh, on the SAT, I did submit it. I didn't go test optional. I got a 1550, um, 780 in the reading and writing section, the 770 on the math section. I flubbed some of the math. I flubbed a math question, so then I got the points off and then made, didn't get a perfect score on the math section. My GPA was, that was reported on my transcript was 4.86. Uh, my school only reports your 11th and 12th grade weighted GPA. Um, so my weight, so my unweighted GPA was like a 3.98, I think, but that's not reported um, because I got a B plus in one trimester of French junior year. And um, my class rank, my school doesn't rank. So in summary, SAT 50-50, GPA 4.86, no class rank. I did report my AP Calculus BC score, which was a five. Um, but it's important to know about stats is that once you're above like a minimum threshold, as long as you have decent grades and a decent SAT score, but they're still going to be test optional this year. So you don't even need that. As long as you have decent grades, you'll be fine on the stats front. So now let's talk about extracurriculars. I did a lot of computer science extracurriculars throughout my years in high school. And these were really the only ones that I talked about on my common app. I'm going to start looking at my common apps, which is somewhere here. So if I look off screen, that's why. Um, but let's get into what I started listing. So the number one extracurricular I listed on my common app was being president and founder of the machine learning club in my high school. Um, when I came in in 11th grade, there was no machine learning club. So I started one, started giving lectures um, on machine learning topics. And I listed that as my number one extracurricular because that's just what I put a lot of time into. Other extracurriculars were pretty similar. Um, I was also president of the computer science club, president of the code for charity club and president of the game development club. I put game development club like pretty far down the list because we had one meeting. Um, so we didn't, I didn't really count that much. Um, so those are for my club, computer science club extracurriculars. Other extracurriculars included doing research in natural language processing, which is a machine learning type thing at uh, the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill. I have a video on how to get research opportunities in high school. It'll pop up somewhere around here. And I'll also leave a link to it in the description. So if you have questions about getting research opportunities, then uh, comment down below. I'll get back to you and just go watch those two videos. I did eight weeks of research um, this summer after my junior year virtually and well it was research you know I wasn't doing anything novel but I did work on a research project uh, with professors at the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill. So those are really my big ones um, and some of my smaller extracurriculars involved being a member of TSA, um, the Technology Student Association in 10th and 11th grade, um, I also, you know, I counted this, well, not this YouTube channel. I counted my blog at sidcos.com, um, as one of my extracurriculars because I write articles and blog posts about programming tech stuff every once in a while. And I do put a good amount of time in that. So I did count it as an extracurricular. I also do, um, tutoring. I teach programming. Um, so I counted that as one of my extracurriculars as well. So those are all my clubs and research stuff. And let's talk about, I think probably the biggest part of my application, but I'm not sure, um, was competitive programming. Uh, I did Usico from the, basically the summer 
uh, used to coach the United States of America Computing Olympiad, and I did this the summer after uh, freshman year is when I started really studying for it, and I did this all the way until senior year. Um, I ended up going to the USICO Platinum Division, which if you are not familiar with USICO, if there's four divisions, um, Bronze, Silver, Gold, and Platinum. You work your way up through the divisions over a series of contests that happen throughout the year, and the highest division you can get to is Platinum, and after Platinum comes being invited to be at the training camp to get on the U.S.'s uh, International uh, Olympiad of Informatics uh, team. I got to Platinum Division in the very last contest of my junior year, so right in time for college apps, um, which was a big relief. I don't think it was that very last. I think it was the second last contest of my junior year, sorry. Um, but that was an impressive achievement, and it's a big part of my application. Um, and that was the number one award I listed. Uh, the awards I listed after that, I actually, I'm actually going to have to pull this up because I don't know what I listed. I li Oh, wait, this is a huge extra curriculum. I can't believe I forgot about it because it was such a big part of my application. But... The Samsung Solve for Tomorrow National, uh, the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow competition, um, my team um, and my school won that uh, competition nationally. And essentially what that is, is you have um, a ton of schools, like 2,500 schools across the nation, submit pitches um, based on technological solutions for products, and then five schools win. Um, so it was a pretty prestigious uh, event, and we ended up winning around like 100K uh, in tech for our school. And the project that we worked on was uh, repurposing object detection algorithms um, to be used to identify trash and then incorporating that into a automatic recycling bin, that part of the project we're working on right now. That was the second award I listed on my Common App. Uh, the third award I listed was qualifying for AMI, uh, which is the American Invitational Math Exam, uh, based on my AMC 12 score in 11th grade. I kind of fluked into that one. Um, I didn't prep too hard for it. My fourth award was the National Merit Scholarship semifinalist. I ended up being a National Merit semifinalist, uh, National Merit finalist, but at the time of submitting this application, that result hadn't come out, so I didn't put it on, obviously, because I can't predict the future. Um, and my fifth award that I put down was Technology Student Association State Software Development third place, because in tenth grade I got third place at the TSA Soft Dev uh, event in North Carolina. Those are all my awards. The one list five awards. Uh, on the common app and that's essentially my application as a whole those are all my you know numerical and categorical um variables my stats and extracurriculars and i'm going to talk a briefly about my essays right now so my common app essay i wrote about um, my passion for um, teaching computers to learn languages and i linked that in uh, to my cultural experiences having moved around a lot Looking back on it, it's a pretty well-written essay, but the topic might be a little bit cliche. Uh, I included uh, brief descriptions of some of my past experiences working in the field, uh, made a few, you know, nice reading metaphors, um, and I tied it all together. It was a pretty decent essay, um, but it was a little bit cliche. So honestly, I give it like a, I give it a seven out of ten. Georgia Tech uh, has two short essays. Uh, the short essays are. Georgia Tech is committed to creating solutions to some of the world's most pressing challenges. Tell us how you have improved or hope to improve the human condition in your community. That's one of them. And then the second one... Wait, is there a second one? Yeah, why do you want to study your chosen major specifically at Georgia Tech? Right? So, let's talk about my first answer. Uh, for the figuring out how you improve the human condition in your community, I chose to write about the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow recycling comp uh, Samsung Solve for Tomorrow competition, where we developed the recycling algorithm to make it easier for people to uh, uh, sort waste and actually recycle, um, and how we were working on doing that to improve our community. Uh, and then for my this one, I think was my most one of my best essays in the entire process. Um, it was unique. It was a unique topic, and it was pretty well written. And then my next essay, why do you want to study chosen major at Georgia Tech, was a bit cliche. And honestly, it was probably one of my worst essays I wrote about. Um, I essentially just talked about how I've been coding since I was eight. Um, and I had mentioned specific uh, parts of Georgia Tech's computer science and machine learning program that really appealed to me. Uh, and it's, I talked about their startup culture and like their Createx startup lab. Um, but I'm not the best person to go to for advice on essays, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other people on the internet that give a lot better advice on essays, um, like the college essay guy, um, or whatever.
But that's essentially all of my stats and extracurriculars. I mean, if you want to see the actual schools that I got into, um, then you can go watch my college decision reaction video, which I'll link uh, down in the description. And if you have any questions at all about this video, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. I don't really have a lot of stuff to do for school in the second semester. Um, so I'll just spend my time replying to your comments. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see my journey into college and beyond, then consider liking, subscribing, and commenting on this video. Uh, I also have a Discord server that you can join if you want to talk to me about like college or competitive programming or programming in general. Uh, and you can go follow me on Instagram and Twitter and join my bi-weekly newsletter that I forgot to send out yesterday. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good one.